So they said that they really want to keep the feel of Elder Scrolls in the MMO, so, um, you know, like in Skyrim or any other uh, Elder Scrolls game, you, you say you're just walking around and you stumble across somebody on the side of the road and they need some help or something like that, or they're in an argument with somebody else and you could either you could either help them, you could even kill them and like take their stuff. You could do that in the MMO as well. So they're keeping that so it feels like Elder Scrolls and like, you know, kind of like you're playing um you're still playing an RPG, not just not just the MMO side of it. But uh they're trying to keep the, the, the big the big um the big aspects of the Elder Scrolls game in in this online thing. It is going to be third person obviously since it is an MMO. It says that you can join every guild and build a pool of skills far broader than ever before. Also, everything you see off in the distance can be explored, but you're it's more about leveling up. It's more about being if you're not high enough, you're probably not going to survive that far. And I remember I remember with Final Fantasy 11 there were some areas that you had to sometimes cross through to get to other areas. And it just made it very... Um, it was kind of like an adrenaline rush, and I, I really used to like that. Like, if you were to walk, if you were to walk from one place to another and you had to cross this high-level area... I remember there was this high-level area that was like the swampy area. Um, I, that was a really... that was a really crazy area. So, if you... and you had to cross it in order to get from one place to, an, to the other. So you always had to take a Chocobo, like, if you didn't want to get killed. And I was a, I was a, uh, a white mage, I was a healer. So I, I could not survive um, a big attack or some, some high monster hit me. I could probably take maybe two hits from the big monster or, and then I'd die. So that's, that's kind of like, that's what I'm, um, that's what it's like here. That's what they're saying here is that you could go to wherever you want, but you're probably not going to be able to survive because if you're a low level and you enter this crazy high level um, with with crazy monsters, you're probably gonna die. So I'm I'm guessing they don't wanna they don't wanna announce yet exactly if you have mounts, um, but they ha they said that they're uh, but it's almost obvious that they that you are going to have mounts, um, so that you could probably cross areas a little bit easier. I'll, I'll get into the whole mounts thing later. When the the, the story for the Elder Scrolls Online t uh, takes place a thousand years before the events of Skyrim. So this is, um, this is way before Skyrim, obviously. And it's uh, before the uh, ascendancy of the Septim Dynasty in the Third Era. During this era, the land of Tamriel has no, no clear ruler. Um, a lot of what they talk about here kind of makes sense if you watch some of my Elder, some of my Elder Scrolls videos, the ones that uh, are called Preparing for, for Skyrim. I talk about uh, the histories of some of, of all the races, and I talk about some. I mentioned some some of the stuff here that they talk about. There's battles against the hated Imperials, and this. The, uh, if you remember from, I think it was Morrowind, the Jagger Tharn, Jagger, uh, Jagger Tharn, um, that mage. He was like a. Um, he was an evil mage that went against the Emperor, and he like locked him in one of the 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 realms, one of the Daedra realms. Um, his his descendant is in this. Uh, one of the Tharn family is in this. Uh, oh, rem uh, from Arena. It was Arena. I'm sorry. So he's hatching a plot to bring Tamriel back under the Imperial heel. They've forged a dark pact with the King of the Worms, um, Man and Mar Marco, I think you pronounce it. I, man I mentioned him in my game, uh, in my in my video as well. Uh, he's a necromancer. He's a high elf a necromancer, and he uh, is, there's this huge plot about him wanting to like control the um, what are they called the those big rock things are like, you know like shale and from Dragon Age like you could control them with a rod. That whole uh, plot is going to be involved, like the arena plot from, from the game Arena, the Elder Scrolls Arena, which was the first, the first Elder Scrolls, is kind of playing a plot, uh, kind of playing into this plot. So it's going to be pretty interesting. It's also going to be about um, the the Daedra Malak ba ba Bal, Malak Bal. I, I mentioned him also in my videos. So that's pretty much like a big plot in it. The game, uh, the game world features most of Tamriel. Um, 
So that, that's going to be pretty freaking awesome. But they did say that you're not going to be able to go to every place in Tamriel, every continent off the bat, that that's going to be left for expansions. That expansions are going to be um, the ones where you get to go to more continents. So the, uh, right off the bat, you're going to be able to go through uh, a lot of Tamriel, but not everything. So it says, nonetheless, every major area is represented to some extent. Uh, for instance, the Nord stronghold of Windhelm is fully implemented, uh, but Winterhold and the Mage's College won't be at launch. Bethesda, uh, it explains here, they're like, w w how, how is Bethesda um, involved in this? Um, I guess to, to ease the, any fans' uh, concerns, because they're like, is Bethesda even in, the, in this? Uh, it says that ZeniMax Online is uh, its own studio under the, the larger corporate umbrella of ZeniMax Media, which owns the publisher Bethesda Softworks, as well as the developer house Todd Howard calls home, Bethesda Game Studio. Uh, so the two development uh, studios have a tight working relationship when it comes to keeping the Elder Scrolls franchise recognizable in a different genre. So they're working closely with them. So you've got the the online experts, but then also the you know Beth Bethesda is c the people that work on the Elder Scrolls are huge Elder Scrolls fans. They're the ones that you know the, that created it, but they're also fans. Um, so they're the ones they they're also working really close with this in order to make it. Uh, feel like the Elder Scrolls and to live up to a lot of the big fans' uh, view of the Elder Scrolls, right? Quests! So you're gonna have a lot of quests. Now, there's some of these, some of these freaking, I don't know if you can see this, but um, some of the screenshots are really cool where you're just like, oh, oh my god. Like, you really, really want to play. I'd love to play this with a bunch of friends, um, or even a bunch of you guys. That'd be so fun. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online aims to allow players to enjoy whatever piques their interests as they wander the world so long as you uh, you are appropriate le appropriately leveled. Uh, they talk about this, they go into this, spe the, not specifics, but they go into this quest about um, this werewolf uh, quest. And this sounds really cool because they talk about the city, um, what city was it? I forgot what city, but this little town, I think, and they go into the saga of Camlorn, and this was a family, I believe. Yeah, some scenarios are significantly more complex with interlocking pieces coming together to tell a larger story without forcing players to fully clear out entire zones to get the whole plot line. For instance, the saga of Cam Camlorn involves ancient battles, time travel, werewolves, ghosts, and undead werewolves. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Um, one thing that they did they did say is that you're not going to be able to to catch the disease that turns you into a werewolf and you're not going to be able to catch the disease that turns you into a vampire either and they said that the reason why is because for an MMO uh, especially a player versus player it's hard to incorporate that in certain situations where there's a, a big battle say uh, like a player versus player battle and incorporate were werewolves and vampires, like take them into consideration because they are more powerful in certain circumstances. They are, they could be more powerful and sometimes that might um, be maybe unfair in a certain uh, fight. So they just kept that out. They were like, no, you, no lycanthropy, no vampirism. But you will be able to, uh, like this quest, um, there is, there are, there is mention of werewolves and vampires. And this this werewolf uh, quest sounds really cool because you you go the, it's not just like in Skyrim where werewolves you you find people that are werewolves or there's like say the companions um, that are trying to you know live with their disease live with their curse uh, and would lo love to you know uh, not have it anymore be cured from it. Uh, there's that, you know, that, that you do come into contact with werewolves, but they're usually, they could be nice, they could be uh, kind of, you know, there's people that want to kill the werewolves and that kind of thing. But in this, you've got a town uh, that is completely overrun by werewolves, that these werewolves run this town, 
and they actually want to like rule uh Tamriel. Like they want <laughs> they they want to they they want to grow and they want to take over the place and i'm just like whoa that's kind of crazy so they take it to the next level even though you can't become a werewolf i think they they did a pretty good job about uh involving you still in the whole um idea of werewolves um a little bit more than they probably did in skyrim you still have the fighters guild the the thieves guild the mage guild so that's all still there the reality of network latency and massively multiplayer games prevents the elder scrolls online from following the real combat the real time combat model that has driven the series since its inception but the developers are trying to bring over a few of the concepts that define the franchise's combat. The stamina bar is the fulcrum around which the entire combat design revolves. So you still, they, they say that you still have sprint, block, interrupt, um, and uh, all these things. So the combat is not going to be exactly real-time combat. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like... Final Fantasy, kind of like that. Where it's not, not it's kind of turn-based, not not strictly turn-based, where like Final Fantasy style, where it's like, okay, my turn, your turn, my turn, um, but no, like kind of like Dragon Age Origins, where you just go in there, push the button, and your character starts fighting, and then you 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 get the, you know you you uh, strategize over here, right? Uh, whatever you want your character to do, you know, uh, work in a community, um, kind of like Final Fantasy XI for those of you that play it, or WoW even. The whole player versus player thing is just, the way that they incorporate it into this is just freaking awesome. I, I think it's going to be freaking epic. It could be very, very hard to do, but wow, it's going to be really cool if they pull it off. It says ZeniMax Online intends for any five reasonably skilled players to be able to form a group capable of clearing most content. Traditional aggro, you know, like aggro, if for those of you that don't play MMOs or never played an MMO, aggro is where you're walking and then this monster, some of them uh, are, have aggro, so if you walk right by them, they're going to attack you. Uh, some of them don't, some of them don't have aggro, so you're just like, oh no, don't worry, that monster doesn't have any aggro. You don't, you can walk right by them and they don't attack you unless you attack them. But there are some where you're just walking around, and you, if you don't see anything, a bunch of freaking you you get aggro, and a bunch of uh, monsters start following you, and you're just like, ah! and they just attack you out of nowhere, even if you're not attacking them. So the aggro mechanics, uh, where players directly manipulate target priority system for the AI, every player has an increased responsibility. 